Today we're going to be talking about sets, and particularly set notation, which you can use a lot in math. So um, there's not a whole lot of copying of the words that I want you to do, but I would like you to copy the um, words on this page as it kind of reminds you that it says you can classify numbers using sets. A set is a well-defined collection of objects. Each object is called an element of the set, and a subset of a set consists of elements from the given set. You can list the elements of a set within braces. And so throughout this, I want you to kind of really practice making those braces. It's a little bit of a skill. It takes some practice. And I know by the end of these notes, um, you're going to have it down really well if you're um, deliberate and careful about drawing them. Okay. As we work with certain problems, we're going to be using two different kinds of note build, note take, um, set building. Excuse me. One's called roster and one's called set builder. And so if you wanted to write these two down and leave some space underneath the columns underneath it, we're going to try practicing um, building a set in both ways for several problems to come. Okay, like I mentioned, you don't have to copy a lot of this down, but I do want to read through it together. Um, it says, a set is a collection of distinct elements. A subset contains elements from a set. For example, the number six on the telephone keypad corresponds to the set M, N, and O. The set MO is one subset of this set. Okay, sets are the basis of a mathematical language, and you can write sets in different ways and form smaller sets of elements from a larger set. And you can also describe the elements that are not in a given set. And so we're going to spend some time today practicing those skills. Okay, so roster form is one way to write sets. Roster form lists, so if you wanted to copy this part, just this part down, roster form lists the elements of a set with embraces. Okay, and here you can see, um, here's an example of roster form and another form of um, example of roster form and then there's set builder notation set builder notation is another way to write sets and it describes the properties um, an element must have to be included in the set all right and here's an example here's um sorry that's not an example um, there's the example of that same set from above written in set builder notation and you read this let's practice together um, you read this, x, excuse me, you read it, the set of all real numbers x such that x is a multiple of 2 is how you would read that. So the part that I do want you to write down is I want you to write down and keep going in your notes with examples of different ones. So one example of a rostered set is 2, 4, 6, 8, comma, dot, 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 and close the braces. Okay, that same set in set builder notation is written like this. As you continue to take notes, I would like you to write the rostered form on the left and the set builder on the right, and we'll have um, a good gallery sort of of different examples by the end. So let's take a look at the differences here on how we can express this problem. T is the set of natural numbers that are less than 6. Let's do a quick review on what it means to be a natural number. Another way of expressing natural numbers are your counting numbers. And we start counting at 1. All right, so let's take a look. And these two things I would like to have you write them down underneath your roster form. Let's see. This is the set of numbers, T. Um, and you can see it rostered out with each individual number that's, that's in the set. Okay, so the 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. All right, over here on the set builder notation side, I want you to copy this down. And we're going to read this together. T is a set of all real numbers x such that x is a natural number, comma, x is less than 6. So I want you to try this, this one. This got it number one on your own. We're going to try it a little differently. So I want you to pause the video. And I want you to try it on your own, and then I'm going to show you the answers like right away. So on the left, I want you to write it in rostered form, and on the right, in set builder notation. So go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, here are the answers. So basically on this one, I more or less just copied the set notation I saw above. So I wrote 
the set n here, okay, is equal to the set of all numbers x such that x is an even natural number, comma, x is less than or equal to 12. Over here on the left, with the rostered side, I just wrote down in a set all of the elements that belong in the counting numbers that are even and less than or equal to 12. Okay. You can also use set notation to express the solutions for an inequality like this. So copy this down and go ahead and solve it the way you normally do. Okay, and hopefully you got the answer x is greater than or equal to negative 2, and you remember to flip your sign since you divided by a negative right here. Okay, so let's remember that x is greater than or equal to negative 2, and this question is asking, in set builder notation, how do you write the solutions of this inequality we just solved? So remember, um, we just solved that, and I believe we got the answer is x is greater than or equal to negative 2. And so which one would be the correct answer in set builder notation? Okay, in set builder notation, the answer is actually B. All right, if you look at, let's look at all the other responses. Answer letter A is a traditional um, solution to an inequality. It's not in set notation at all. It doesn't have braces. Okay, so we're going to strike out letter A as being um, the correct set notation. Um, if we look at letter D, this might be for someone who forgot maybe to flip the inequality sign, and that's just not, it's just not correct, so we're going to throw that one out. All right, now letter C is incorrect in a number of levels. First of all, it's really written in rostered form, which we weren't asked for, and then the second thing is, it's if we were talking about the solutions, if we're talking about this, we're really talking about all real numbers greater than or equal to 2, and this one is just giving integers greater than or equal to negative 2. So what about all the numbers like in between, like negative 0 0.5 and all those um, should also be included in the set. And the way this rostered thing is written, it's not included. So um, answer letter B is the only correct answer that you can do there. We're going to go on and I'm going to have you try one right now. So press pause, solve the inequality, and write express your solution set in set builder notation. And then check with my answer. Okay, here's the solution. So you can see, first of all, you're supposed to get n is less than negative 3 as the solution. And then when you make it in set builder notation, you can read this here. Um, n is the set of all numbers n such that n is less than negative 3, and then close your braces. Okay, now we're going to talk a little bit about how to make subsets of something. So um, a subset is just, um, let's see, you know that a set... A is a subset of B if each element of A is also an element of B. So for example, um, looking at this set B, we could make lots of different subsets from it. One of them would be this one, where you just take a collection of the elements and put them together. And you can write this relationship in this notation, and you might want to write this down. A is a subset of B. Okay, the empty set or null set is the set that contains no elements, and as you know, we can be, we've been writing it like that, empty set or no solution, um, or you can also write it with a pair of braces with nothing in them. So let's go through this problem together. It says, what are all the subsets of the set 3, 4, 5? Well, to list them all, okay, you want to always start with the empty set, so there's that one. And then you want to next list all the subsets with one element, so that would be 3, 4, and 5. Okay, then list all the subsets with two elements and try to go in some sort of predictable pattern, 3, 4, 3, 5, and then 4, 5, and then finally list the original set. It is always considered a subset of itself. So if we count them all, then you can see that there are eight subsets of 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There they are. Okay, now you try. Why don't you press pause here, and then you can check with my answer and see how you did. Okay, there's the answer to the first one. What are the subsets of the set P equals A comma B? And so you can see that I've counted them all out, starting just the way that we did before, starting with the null set, and then listing all the ones with one element in it, and listing all the ones with two elements in it, which happens to be the set itself. All right, so press pause and now try set S if you haven't already. Okay, and there are the answers. There are, let me see, one, two, three, six, seven, eight. There are eight um, subsets all together. Okay, let's press pause and why don't you go on to answer letter B. 
Okay, as you can see, my answer is yes. And in order to provide some explanation, I used a number line because it was easier for me to show people what exactly I mean by A. So here you see my graphing sketch of A less than negative 3 with an open circle and going to the left. And then you can see my sketch of, sub, of set B, which is a closed circle and 0 and also going to the left. And so the question is, is A, the red line, a subset of B? And so you can see that yes, it is because set a contains, you know, elements only tr taken from set B. Let's go on. Okay, when working with sets, you call the largest set you are using the universal set or universe, and I think you should write that down. The complement of a set is the set of all elements in the universal set that are not in the set. Okay, I'd very much like you to copy down the new notes, the green, the yellow, and the blue highlighted sentences. And let's just take a look at this sort of Venn diagram and read it along together. Um, here, it says in the Venn diagram, U represents the universal set, the largest set we're working with. And notice that A, remember that symbol means, is a subset of U. So basically it's just saying that A contains a smaller number of elements than does set U. All right, and A prime, that's the way we read that little dash right there, um, is also a subset of U. Together, A and A prime make up U. I think that idea of um, a complement will make more sense if we take a look at this. In this particular case, our universal set is all the different chess pieces, the king, the queen, the bishop, the knight, the rook, the pawn. Okay, set A is a subset of you, and it contains only those chess pieces that move side to side. And they've helpfully given us um, a diagram here of how all the pieces move. So what is the complement of set A? So what I would start to think about is set A is the set of all pieces that move side to side. So which ones are they? Okay, so the pieces that move side to side are the king, the queen, and the rook. So if it comes time to building the complement of that, we would say A prime is equal to, because remember that's how we denote the complement, all right, is all the other pieces that are piece of the universal set, which, which are not elements in A. So that would be, as you can see, it would be the set containing the bishop, the knight, and the pawn. Okay, so if you have those written down, I can just kind of show that to you visually using a Venn diagram here. So you can see the universal set of all the types of chess pieces, and they've put a nice green circle here around set A. So then um, the pieces that are not in set A are the bishop, the knight, and the pawn. And obviously it would be better if you wrote them out. I just used shorthand. Okay, so here you go. This is your chance to try it. Press pause, and then when you're finished and happy with your answer, you can press play and check it against my answer. If you're not sure about your um, months, I just listed them there for you if you need it. Okay, so here is my set in rostered form of A prime, which is the complement of set A, and it contains all the months that do not have exactly 31 days. All right, thanks so much. I'll see you in class tomorrow.